I'm gonna be real with you guys for a little bit, just for my own personal sake. And this video is gonna be maybe slightly different from other videos that you've seen. I wanted to let you know that content creation for me has been completely transforming in my life in ways that I didn't really anticipate. It's actually the hardest thing that I've ever done. When I was talking to people, having conversations with individuals, it was incredibly easy for me to do that. Like I could go outside and I can make a fool of myself, no questions asked. A fool can also be subjective because I don't consider what I do when I go have these conversations with people or lay down in a bed or do all these strange things. I've never really considered those weird or cringy. It's something that I just do. Now when it comes down to me making videos, when it comes down to me creating content, this, this is hard, dude. Like this is, the most difficult thing that I've had to do because I've had to disassociate myself from the outcome because let's say I put all of my heart, my effort, my soul into making this video and I'm like, wow, this is fantastic. I love this. And then I post it and it gets 20 views, it gets 30 views. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm grateful for the ones that do watch it. It's just for me, it's just like, wow, I thought this was more valuable than this. I thought that there was something more to be seen. I thought there was something that was a value within this video and it doesn't go anywhere i do love the process of me being able to go outside and create the content and make the videos and have the conversations and document the process and overcome my fears of say vlogging in public or having conversations with people on camera that i would typically have off camera and being able to talk my way out of certain situations or conversations and when i say talk my way out of them i don't mean to say that i'm doing something wrong it's just like this is the reason why i am doing it and then the person is typically receptive of the said conversation i just have come to realize that these things that most people do and it's why a lot of people give up on i'd say their dreams is because it gets too hard at a certain point it starts to come too time consuming it starts to become something where the results aren't seen right away so they give up it can be kind of like going to the gym Maybe you have tried going to the gym before. Maybe you've attempted working out in some way, shape, or form, and it's never stuck. And it's because you aren't seeing the results that you want to right away. And this is why you have to love what you do. You have to love the process. It's why I love going and say lifting at the gym because it's just a part of me. I love exercise. I love the feeling that it has after me. Now, when it comes down to content right now, I don't love it, man. Like I do love the process of creating the videos and documenting everything and like doing that, like that aspect I do enjoy. The aspect that I don't enjoy is say putting eight hours, 16 hours into a video and it getting a couple hundred views. Cause it's like, I'm trying to have this pay my bills. I'm trying to have this be the thing that is my, my livelihood because I could go back to the easy route. I could go back to say, just picking up the phone, calling people, asking them if they want to buy a service, some consulting, some coaching, some sort of product that I have and have a conversation with them and make easy money that way. Like I have no problem doing that because that's easy to me for some odd reason, something within my mind, I don't know where it comes from and I don't know why it, why it's there in the first place, but something within my mind is like, go do the hard thing. Cause if you do the hard thing, you'll have more gratification or you'll feel more fulfilled because you are able to accomplish this. Even though every single morning, man, like I cry for 20, 30 minutes. Okay. That's a little bit of an exaggeration. Every single day, it's just, it's an, it's a release of the emotions and I can go into this on a little bit different video. I don't want to be pitied with the content that I make. I don't want to have any sort of like, oh, woe is me type of thing. I do want you to know that if you are wanting to do something and you don't love the process of say creating the video of making the art of going to the gym, of putting in the reps, of taking the steps, of reading the book, of flipping the pages. If you don't like that process, you're going to give up and you're going to go back to your old ways and that's okay. Like if that's what you want to do, that's okay. But like I said, my mind isn't like that. My mind's like, Hey, you see that big mountain over there? Yeah. Let's go climb that big mountain over there. Why? I don't know. I just know that the mountains that I have climbed in the past have always been so gratifying and fulfilling once I reach the top. And then even on the way back down, I'm like, wow, no, it's fantastic. I love that. And that's what I'm shifting my content and reframing my content to as well is I'm just going to create something that I want to create. If it's not for the algorithm, if it's not for people, if it's not for some individual, then that's okay. Cause at least I like creating it. At least I enjoy the process of making the videos and showing aspects of myself and helping me overcome the fears that I had within my own head, because at least that's helping me grow as a person. If the channel never goes anywhere. The channel never goes anywhere. And that's something that I have to be okay with. I'm going to keep making videos regardless of the outcome, regardless of the people that watch. I'm going to keep making them. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep showing up. I want to try and make it different for you guys. So we'll see 
if this works. If not, I mean, hey, at least I learned something. Regardless of how hard it gets and how difficult it becomes, because I, I know inherently, and I know this to be fact because I've overcome it so many times. So fast. Overcoming those hard things, overcoming the hard things within ourselves or the challenge in front of us. I've always felt a sense of clarity and joy and fulfillment and like peace once I reach the top. And I do feel peace in all of those emotions right now as well too. It's an amazing world that we live in. And I don't know how to describe that to other people that don't see that. And that's the challenging part for me is how do I describe something that just comes so easy to me? How do I describe something that when I look around and I see this, I see a pure, pure utter beauty and joy where somebody else will see this and they just gawk and be like, ugh, what is this? Those are the people that I just don't understand how they have so much sorrow and pain within them. There's just a feeling of, wow, I could turn back. I could stop. I could quit. I could give in. And I just don't think that that's the right thing to do. I know it's not the right thing to do. What you want to do is you want to make one step forward each and every single day, regardless of how small it is. If it's just you cleaning up your house, if it's you just washing the dishes, if it's you just doing some laundry, if it's you going outside for five minutes, no matter how small it is, it's better than being where you are. At least it has been for me. Cause I don't like having to be the same person that I was five minutes ago or having to play the role that somebody else wants me to play because they want me to fit into their worldview of how the world should be where I've come to realize it's better to be true and authentic and sincere to ourselves because we are the one person that we have to spend the rest of our lives with. Let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.